This tractor will work tirelessly all hours of the day, and now it seems that their operators can too. In fact, with this type of machinery, they could probably drive throughout the night as well. That's because its path is guided by satellite, allowing the farmer to achieve near-perfect coverage without any guesswork. So what we're talking about now is using the satellites to tell us where to drive, and we call this parallel tracking. So the, you're steering manually and the, the satellite is telling you where to drive, or auto tracking where the tractor is actually driving itself up and down the predetermined track by the satellites. No longer have you got to see where you've been driving, you can see on the screen in the cab, so you don't need to see outside of the cab what's actually happening, so you can carry on through the night without any detriment to your work rate or your productivity. Hands-free driving is just one feature of what's called global vehicle communications, portable satellite control units that can be moved between different pieces of kit. As well as vehicle guidance, these units allow precise control of farm implements and record in minute detail what happens out in the field. Implementation is like um, on a sprayer, so we can now use the satellite to tell us when to turn on and off the sprayer, so we get no overlaps of sprays, um, so it's going to turn on and off and never overlap and do what it's done before. Documentation is using farm software packages on the home computer um, to reduce the amount of time needed to input data into the farm computer. So it will be done on the, on the screen as the operation is being done in the field and you don't have to re-enter it at a later stage. I got it because of um, the vegetable work we do and um, then it led into the arable side. Yeah, it's easy to use the technology. Um, even my oldest driver to the youngest driver picked it up in no time. Stuart Alexander works for FarmAid who make computer software specifically for British farmers. The average Joe public would be amazed at the technology that is available within those machines. We can take a data card, just like your camera card and your digital camera, out of the tractor, download the information into the computer for that management information. So everything that has happened that day off that tractor for that particular machine is downloaded, the operator's name, weather conditions, the products that are applied, are all downloaded off the card to speed up this data input. We then again take our, our camera card from the computer, put it into the machine, and as the machine, whether it be the sprayer or the fertilizer spreader, will actually vary the quantity as it travels up and down the field. This to try and get a uniform crop and to farm as environmentally as we can, only applying the nutrients and the fertilizer where they are needed. One of my favorites is nice straight lines. But that in the real reason for buying it, the the main reason would be um, making more use of your machinery width and because of the high cost of fuel at the moment it's um, well making more evident, more economical. Right? I think there are always going to be trees and ditches in the field so I think there's always going to need a, a driver there and also these systems are there to complement a good driver, they're not to, to, not to replace a good driver. It means the driver can now concentrate on more, more important things like checking that the, the seed is in, in the correct depth in the, in the drill check that the cultivation equipment is working correctly. So it's to complement a good driver rather than replace the good driver. 